I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, and something that really annoys me is tangled up messy cables. It doesn't matter if it's the long microphone cable that I often use while shooting videos, extension cords, or long coax cable runs used for field day. Having to waste time unraveling cables sucks. Most of the time when we're coiling coax, we do it the standard overhand method, which is just creating one loop on top of the other. I call this the overhand method. Okay, it works really well, except that after a while, the weight of the coax makes it very hard to work out this twist that we're putting into the coils. So you have to work to get rid of this twist so you can keep coiling it. And of course, since we're putting twist in it, we can't leave the other end attached to the antenna because it'll put a twist on the antenna coax connector. So as we coil this, it gets harder and harder and as you get closer, you can see you're starting to twist up your coax. There has to be a better method, and there is. I've now switched to what I call the over-under method. You start off by making an overhand loop, just as you normally would do, and then you grab another length of coax, and you twist it so that your hand comes underneath the loop, like that. Then you go over again, like you normally would, and grab another one and come underneath by twisting it like so. You just keep doing this. As you see, it's very easy to coil this coax because I'm not putting any twist into it. The overhand loop twists it, the underhand loop untwists it. As long as you keep going over, under, over, under, and keep going all the way to the end of your coax, you won't put any twist in the coax. You can even leave it attached to the, to the uh, antenna connector at the other end because you're not putting any twist in the coax. So that's how I coil my microphone cables when I'm shooting video and my coax cables when I need an antenna run. I'm Julian N3JF.